I'm Graham England, Lead Analyst for the Automation Community of Practice, and today I'd like to take a few minutes just to show you what I've been up to with LeanFT, our automation tool for GUI testing in a CI-CD environment. I'm going to show you taking something written in Java against IE on a Windows machine and actually getting it over to a Mac and running it in Safari. Sound difficult? It's much easier than you'd think. Take a look. So here we're looking at our Lean FT test written in Java working in the Eclipse IDE. If we look at the main part of the test we can see that it does a Google search, clicks on a link in the results, checks the correct page is loaded at line 106 and then goes on to click on some more links verifying that it gets the expected objects and it grabs some HTML along the way. It then closes the browser and creates the results. So I'm going to do a Maven clean install on the project to compile the code and execute the test. To start with our test factory framework is loaded and it creates a unique results log for the run including taking a snapshot of the machine that is running the test, its operating system, available memory, CPU usage, browser version and stuff like that. So here we go, we're searching, we click on the match and very quickly validate each of the pages. We then close the browser. So since the test works we now commit the code to our git repository ready to be shared with our other users and machines. I've already committed the code so I don't need to but instead I'll switch to Outlook and we can wait for the test results to appear. And there they go. I'm going to click on the link here to open the full HTML results log which was created using our test factory framework. We can see five passes and the captured HTML. We can also see the machine information indicating that the test ran on a Windows 10 machine. Alright, we're going to switch to our Mac Mini now. I've got a terminal window open ready and the first thing I'm going to do is a git clone to retrieve my Lean FT test and our test factory framework onto the machine. We then move to the project folder and do a maven clean install which is going to compile the code and execute it. I should add that this Mac Mini is kind of underpowered so things run a little slowly. And now we're going to see the test run just like it did on my Windows machine but this time in Safari although again we could have chosen any browser that was already installed on the machine. The results are now being written to our common file share and test factory database. Mind you, if this was running on a container or a machine in the cloud that didn't have connectivity to our network here, it would save everything locally and you could use something like Jenkins to archive the information instead. And again, I'm going to switch to Outlook and we can wait for the test results to arrive. Oh, there they go. And if we open it, we can see uh, the HTML log looks identical to the one that we created earlier in Windows, but we can see the system information shows that it's run on a Mac OS. And there you go, that's the end of the demo. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to get in touch with me if you have any questions.